All right, Super Drive Pro Sport GX 850X, part two. I'm gonna make sure you're using this cable, or PlayStation 4 certified cable. All right, get her all plugged in. Nothing's working right. First thing you do, press home button. Pops up, you're working. All right, so this is regular settings. See, you breathe on the wheel and it just loses control totally. So, you want to make sure your shifter is in neutral. So if it's in gear, in any gear whatsoever, it's acting like it's pushing a button down and nothing will work. So we'll put it in third. Programming, try to push down. Nothing happens. Either way, we put it in neutral. Shake it around a little bit. Push it down. Huh. It's still... Wow. Weird. So at this point, what you're going to want to do... Oops. Sorry. I like to reset and recalibrate it. So for my reset, I'm going to hit options and share. Keep holding it. That red light's going to start blinking. Hold it again. goes back to solid so now it's totally reset because when you press programming and click the shifter around you just change buttons so whatever the buttons may be you probably just put gas on the third gear or whatever doesn't matter either way so now you're right back to factory and then you want to hit l1 l2 r1 r2 you'll start blinking you go left right Gas, brakes, clutch, options. And that just <clears throat> reset back to factory settings on everything. So you're right back to factory. Now you press programming, down, continue. Look at that. Just like it should be. Very important. Whenever you're doing anything, do not press programming with this gear shifter in any position whatsoever besides neutral, because it will change stuff. And then you'll have to do the whole process again, or you can just unplug it, repress your home button, and go about your day. This here is Gran Turismo Sport. It's one of the only games that works with your clutch. It's not bad. Just a track game bunch of different tracks but yes I suck at driving <coughs> sorry wow well, I didn't even get to race I only did one lap bro so I'll show you all the games that I have that work with the clutch I got a lot of them here we got Grand Turismo Sport and SnowRunner Wreckfest does work with the clutch. And that's basically it. You can play Grand Theft Auto with a steering wheel. You can play any game whatsoever you want with a steering wheel. But it doesn't always work correctly. Now, I'll show you on SnowRunner how to activate your map. Anybody who hasn't played or heard of this game, if you like off-roading, this is a really good game for you. Open world. Customize your trucks, all kinds of cool stuff. Go to Alaska, go in the snow, go somewhere else, go in the mud, whatever. So, if you'll notice, you have vibration turned on on the steering wheel, and you crash, whatever, it don't vibrate. The reason is it cannot vibrate with the gear shifter plugged in. It's not broken, unplug the gear shifter, reset it, and you'll get vibration. So it's personal preference, vibration, or gear shifter. Okay, so on PS4 here, you can see local map on um, SnowRunner is B3, which, as everybody knows or doesn't know, is going to be this button here. There is no button for that. There is no physical way to do that with the gear shifter plugged in. 
So this thing works as one controller with the gear shifter plugged in, but unplug said gear shifter. Oh, it should be unplugged. Yep, good to go. Now you can use the controller. So to be able to activate map, you need to unplug your controller, plug it back in, press home, reactivate it. Come on, man. Slow you up. There it goes. She's just a little tired this morning. Now it's very um, unfortunate, I'll say. I have another choice word, but I won't say it. You can't run your gear shifter and use your controller at the same time. You have to either unplug it, unplug your gear shifter, vice versa, either way. It's just kind of a pain. One of the things I do not like about this stuff. But you just plug that right back in. And on a game like SnowRunner, you really need the map if you want to actually be able to get stuff done. It kind of sucks. Kind of like fishing your fingers into this tiny, tiny, easy thing. Which is impossible, so I'll cut here. Now that that's all set and done, I might as well show you a little bit about this game. So you can customize about everything you want on it. All kinds of motors, gearboxes. If you don't know what that is, it changes how fast you go. Suspension. It's how high the truck goes up in the air, if you did not know that. Tires. I feel like that's pretty straightforward, but, you know, tires. Back out of there now. Come on. Winch. No. Diff lock. And that's just mechanical. I need to go visuals. Same thing. All kinds of stuff. Change the color. Change the two tone. And that's just one of these. This also has a mod store. Which these are mods. It's all kinds of goodies. You can get some GMs. You can get some Ford, some Dodge. You know, all the good stuff. Jeep. Trains, if you want to have a train. You know, sometimes I want to drive a train. And then, let's just leave the garage. I'll show you what this is all about here. Pretty cool handbrake. I wish handbrake would work with part. Doesn't. Look at that. So I have this set up so it works with the gear shifter. Another example of it's not working right. So I'll show you right now. Ready? It should be going boom, 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 blah, 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 whatever. One second here. Okay, so I don't know why, but that's not working. So I'm just gonna do a full reset. I'm a plugger. Don't worry about it. Make sure your shifter's in neutral. I'm gonna plug it back in. Wait for that red light to stop blinking. Push home again. There we go. So you can see, 
fall out fails, don't be afraid to unplug it, replug it back in, because sometimes it just messes up. It is electrical. A lot of room for stuff to go wrong in a whole setup like this. Every one of these is a button, that's a button, button, all those buttons, so stuff can get crossed. It happens, no big deal. But now we know how to fix it. I'm just gonna do a boosted launch here. Ah! Sent it hard, sent it straight. guys keep watching or not I'm pretty much done talking about the shifter and everything now but I'll show you a little bit about this game oh yeah see how spastic the steering is I didn't program and go to the lower shift setting which shift settings by the way up is high sensitivity left right is medium sensitivity, bottom is low sensitivity, which 90% of the time you want bottom. Ah. I have my gear shifter set up so I can go from low, 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 high, automatic, high range, reverse, neutral. Just makes it more fun. low is super slow and then you go to high you just hang on to her oh, Linda, yeah. all right so even though we do not have the right stick to move anything around we can change our camera view with the analog buttons which helps but you click them down and they have a different function so you have to hold the button I'll help you guys out wherever I can. If you have more questions, leave it in the comments like you always have. And we're gonna go from this shoddy square box to this little beast here. Show you guys what this one's all about. Come on Al, get up over there! should say if you're doing nothing about this game L1 is essentially clutch you can use clutch L1 and then you can either use your stick uh, yeah your stick if you're playing with a controller haha uh -huh. but you have to use your analog buttons unless you go in and custom set up your gear shifter which I well, I'll show you how to do that right now actually Door into settings, steering wheel. Well, it has all kinds of settings that you can change on this game. It's very, very, very good. <laughs> so, yeah, move you guys over so you can actually see what's going on. So you can change everything on this. Very simple. You know, you just low minus, I put his first, low second, low plus third, high range fourth, um, automatic is fifth, and then neutral obviously is floating around in the middle here with nothing, reverse, reverse. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Every truck on the game does not operate the same with that setup, but for the most part, they all have automatic, they all have at least low or high, they all have something, so it works out. And there you have it. Have a good night.